factors in prognostic group. The goal of our study is to determine prognostic factors directly influencing the decade of uh, uh, relapse-free and total surviving in combined and uh, multimodal treatment of supra uh, uh, lesions. We included into our design the patients who went through adjuvant treatment since uh, 20 until 2013 with verified morphological diagnosis of diffuse astrocytoma, oligodendrodioma, oligoastrocytoma patients uh, of 17 years old and all the supra and uh, toria localization. Karnovsky index was less than 50%. Uh, those who went through radical distance radiotherapy, assessment of the results uh, was carried out. Here you see the characteristic of the group of patients. They were comparable. The uh, mean uh, follow-up 5.5 years, 107 patients were included. Karnovsky index uh, was uh, also considered as to age the patients uh, younger than 40 years was 64, older than 40 years, 43 patients. The mean age was 38.5 years. Depending on histological structure, patients uh, were divided to the following diffuse astrocytoma 57, oligodendroglioma 36, oligoastrocytoma uh, 14. While morphological study, we increased WHO malignancy criteria and index proliferation GI 57, that is less than 5%. Characteristics of the group of patients. Patients who were on chemotherapy, uh, 19. Without chemotherapy, 33. Total resection was performed in 12 patients. Stereotaxic biopsy, 21. And partial uh, resection in 90% of patients. A radiotherapy, a juvenile therapy, was conducted uh, in 53 patients, 54 patients. Uh, did not receive it. The table shows the indicators of progression-free uh, survival in patients with infiltrative glioma, low, uh, uh, low degree of malignancy, histological, a, a criteria age, uh, size of primary tumor, had prognostic uh, influence, as well as shift of median structures, the presence of neurological deficit, and debut uh, or onset of the disease uh, influence the indicators of progression of free survival uh, with infiltrative glioma of low uh, degree of malignancy. Well, analyzing uh, total uh, survival rate, histological form, uh, age of patients, size of tumor were significant. And uh, the same way the presence of median structures, neurological deficits, and the onset of the disease influenced the indicators of overall survival in patients with infiltrative glioma of a, a low degree of when uh, during multi-factor analysis as well as assessing progression-free uh, survival uh, the significant factors were costological form age, size of the tumor, and shift of median structures. They were significant indicators while multi-factor analysis. That was analysis of progression-free survival. While analyzing overall survival, all the above-mentioned factors, histological form, age, size, shift of the median structures, as well as neurological deficit, Caused, uh, influenced the indicators of total overall survival of this group of patients. The slide shows analysis of progression-free survival by Kaplan-Meier, comparison of two groups, uh, EOTC and uh, RTOG, and uh, uh, the significant influence uh, was caused by the indicators of overall survival. Uh, Pro progression free survival in AOTC is higher versus uh, AORTC group for unfavorable prognosis. In RTOG, the differences uh, were received in analyzing statistic uh, factor. You see that uh, favorable group of uh, uh, talk, the survival rate indicators are later versus the group of the unfav unfavorable uh, prognosis while examining progression-free survival uh, prognostic group while analyzing overall survival and comparing these prognostic groups. Uh, 
In our study, we found, found out that favorable group, uh, EORTC, uh, survival is statistically more significant versus unfavorable uh, EORTC group. But in the model of prognostic group of RTOG, no significant differences were identified, although the graph shows that uh, favorable group, uh, in this favorable group, these patients live longer and better versus unfavorable uh, 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 DOG group. While analyzing two prognostic models, we performed correlation analysis of Pearson and uh, we identified multicollinearity between prognostic group uh, EORTC and indicators of progression free survival and overall survival versus the group uh, uh, when we analyzed indicators of, of uh, prognostic group of RTOG, multicollinearity was not identified. Uh, well, further deep analysis of uh, we performed a regression analysis and uh, compared two models, uh, AORTC and RTOG, we saw that progression-free survival is uh, higher versus the group of RTOG, uh, the same way as in the indicators of overall uh, survival were higher versus the group of RT. Uh, OG or ORTC group uh, uh, was most statistically significant. We identified prognostic uh, important factors influencing the results of treatment of uh, infiltrative gliom uh, of uh, grade two. This is histology, uh, the age, uh, size of the tumor, uh, shift to midline structure of the brain, and morphological deficit. Uh, before surgical operation, diffuse osteocytoma, the age of patient older than 40 years, the maximum size of the tumor more than six centimeters, the presence of shift or midline structures of the brain, and neurological deficit before treatment is uh, an unfavorable prognostic factor. All these factors uh, that are indicated in your RTC. Sorry, we have. Uh, just half an hour and six presentation. So we are compelled to introduce new regulation, not to listen to everyone. Just give six minutes for each presentation. Uh, uh, the acuteness of the dupute of infiltrative gliom of low grade and radicality of surgical treatment, they are not prognostically significant factors. According to our analysis, we have to say uh, that. Uh, prognostic COG uh, uh, less significant uh, regarding prognostic AORTC, which uh, speaks in favor of size, lo localization of primary uh, tumor localization in patients with infiltrative diffuse uh, low-grade glioma.